excited for the game right now? Who's even playing? The Warriors versus Cats. Did you forget that we have a couch project due tomorrow? Anna, don't worry. We're going to finish it right now. We need someone to help us. I think I can help you guys. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> My name's Chris. I'm a professor at Oxford. I major in calculus. <laughs> really? Yeah. <Yes>! <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea to help you guys with calculus. Imagine that in the beginning of the game, there are 200 people. And then the security is letting people into the game at a rate of 650 people per hour. The rate at which people leave is proportional to the number of people at the game. At time equals three, the number of people that have left is 2,000. At time equals three, security stops letting people in and they begin to leave on their own at a rate modeled by the function negative two to the x. So model a function for the number that number of people that have left before time equals three. Then you need to tell me how many people are inside at time equals six. And then is the rate of change ever zero before time equals three? I know how to do the first one. I even have a whiteboard. So you first set up a differential equation, but then I don't know what to do next. Well, that's great, Anna. I'll help you with the rest. Yeah. Okay, after you write your differential equation, you have to isolate your variables. So we need to get dp and p on the same side, like we've done here. And after we do that, we're gonna integrate the equation. So since um, the integral of dp over p is the natural log of p, we set that equal to kt, because the integral of dt is t. And then we have to add our constant of integration. And then after that, we raise both sides to e so that we can isolate p. But p equals e to the kt plus or minus c because of this absolute value sign. Oh, and then you have to plug in the initial condition. Exactly. So after we have our equation, p equals c e to the kt, we put in our initial condition, which is 200 at time equals 0. So you sub in. 200 for p and 0 for t and then you solve for c and you get 200 equals c. Oh and then you plug in t for 3, I mean 3 for t. Yeah and then you have to also add the, um, the number of people that have left at that point of time in the, in the problem that's given as 2,000. Yeah this is too much math in one like city. Oh shit. Yeah. I didn't finish. Can you just cut it? Okay so after you do that you have P, which is 2,000, you have your initial condition of C is 200, and then E to the KT, and time for this situation is 3, because it's 3 hours into the game. So then we solve, and we divide by 200, we get 10 equals E to the 3K, and then we take the natural log to isolate K, we have the natural log of 10 equals 3K, and then to isolate K, finally, we divide by 3. So the K equals the natural log of 10 over 3, which, when you solve it out, actually equals 0 0.768, roughly. Yeah, this is too much. Okay, so now we have all of our variables defined. So we take k, which is 0 0.768, we replace it for k. And then we have c, which is 200, replace it for c. So p equals 200 e to the 0 0.768 t. And that's the model of our equation. Yeah, this is too much math for me in one sitting, so I think we should watch the game. All right, sure, I'm okay with that. Where the hell is Kayla? I have no idea. Hey guys, how's the project going? I was in the VIP section. It's so fun back there. Well, we need to start working on calc again. How far have you guys got? We just have one more problem. What is it? Um, well, we have to find whether the rate of change is ever zero before t equals three. That's easy. We can do this. Okay, so to find the time where the rate of change equals zero, we need to write the function that we modeled earlier of the people that have already left the game, which is 200 e to the 0 0.768 t. And, and then, then take the derivative. All right, so y prime equals 0 0.768 times 200 e to the 0 0.768 t. 
And you can further simplify that. Okay, so then 0 0.768 times 200. Which is 153.6. Good job. Wow. You're so easy. <laughs> 0 0.768. Then All we right. set this equal to the rate at which people entering the court. <laughs> which was? 650. Okay, one. Six fifty, and now we are going to solve for t. So All right, guys, I think that went pretty well, right? Yeah. yeah. I think we're definitely going to ace this project. Good job, yeah. guys. <laughs> Walk out, walk out. Oh,